Hey guys, I'm Mass Creative. Welcome to my channel. What we're doing here in this series is we're going over DNF and it's many, many commands to try to make things easier for new users that are just starting out in Linux. We will be dealing with these commands one by one, so don't go pasting random commands in the comments and confusing these new users. We will get to it and cover it eventually. Now, handling repos is something that most Fedora users do to add programs like Zen Browser, which is an example we're going to use here in a second. Because the Zen Browser is a fork of Firefox, it doesn't, it's not like built into the official repos yet. So what we want to do is we want to make it so we can get things done a little easier. So we're going to be adding a repo and we're going to be managing repos. That's what we're doing today. And to avoid flashbanging, I've turned on dark mode to make things easier for you guys to see. So the first command we're going to use is sudo dnf repo list. Now you don't need to run this with sudo, but you can. And as you can see, we have nothing related to Zen browser, not yet. So we're going to hit control L to clear in the terminal. And I'm going to bring over a web page and we're going to take a look at it real quick. Okay. So here it is. This is the web page. We're going to zoom in because it's poorly made and there's lots of space that is wasted. That's what I normally do to most pages. As you can see, to quick enable the repositories, you DNF enable, yada, 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 and then you're good to go. But systems that work with DNF, again, you can just DNF corp enable. And there's also the ability to work with RPM OS tree, which is a thing that you do not need to bother with. Not yet. You can learn that down the road. But the stable releases are as follows. Zen browser. So this is your stable version and Zen twilight, which is your nightly or beta canary me i'm going to be running the twilight you guys can run the uh stable if you want an easy experience they were ridiculous and unfortunately disabled the avx2 builds which is honestly just dumb okay they could have made an all-in-one build with it so that when it discovered your hardware capabilities it ran the optimizations when it didn't see your your hardware capabilities it ran the normal ones without the optimizations because it's so much slower now and i hate it but it's still faster than normal firefox and doesn't have to deal with google causing memory leaks within firefox which is a real thing so let's begin shall we we're going to copy this right here actually no this is probably a lot better because we will need sudo let me explain the command to you real quick so sudo is administrator privileges privileges okay dnf is the package manager Corp is the form of repo. I say corp, but it's actually copper. Copper, I guess. We're just going to call it corp because it makes more sense. And enable means you're enabling a repository. And the user that made the repository slash the repository name itself. Okay. Hitting enter will bring everything that you need down. And then again, control L. So as I said, we're going to be installing zen twilight which is a nightly build of the zen browser now i'm already using zen browser down here that's the flat pack so sudo dnf in in stands for install it's a short abbreviation and we're going to paste this now if your paste comes out like this don't worry it happens just use the arrow keys to go past and clear it out and done hit yes to this okay and now that that's finished we go over here it should pop up any minute now and boom we can now quit this on pin this and now we have the nightly version of the zen browser see that you know the funny part is people rag on me for my video about the zen browser but it brought more people to zen browser than other videos that went over everything because it get it short and too I kept it short and right to the point, and I showed the things that most users would look for, and I got bitched at for it, which is kind of funny nonetheless. But I ended up not, I, I ended up like getting rid of it. I never stopped using it because it was really good and it worked for my needs, which is important. You want a browser that works for you. So there you go. Now you could do this for other applications like Spotify or whatnot or what else, but here's the thing. I'm going to show you a better way so that you can avoid dealing with repos altogether. Um, not clean, sorry. Control L. I'm still getting used to it. Flat pack install warehouse. Or as I like to call it, warehouse. 
because, well, I'm Canadian. I like to say things weird just to uh, see if people get upset about it. That's who I am. So control L to clear. And once again, this will handle all of your flat packs, all of them. And I only have three. So what it can do is, again, you can do whatever you need to do in here. Copy things, paste things. If you need to install things, you can install things. You click here, you can open files. If you need to, you can enable repositories, disable repositories for flat packs. Again, this all counts towards dealing with stuff. And the reason why I'm showing you this is because I want you to be able to handle all types of repositories, okay? And um, where did they move it now? Usually, believe it or not, there's a place where you can go and install things. Where's the freaking install button now? Search remotes. Okay. Um, Spotify? No. Oh my. Install packages. I'm guessing it's this one now. Yeah, so you go in here and you type Spotify. Yeah, so there you go. They've removed it, so install packages here. The program has changed since I used it last. So now you deal with the repositories here. You deal with your packages here. You deal with your user data here. See, I've got a bunch here and a little bit of here. Snapshots are here, so you can create a snapshot to state any Flatpak application and install applications here. I hope this helps. And, you know, if it did, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. Help me out with all that. You can become a member if you value what I do more than others. And I appreciate every single member. We have about 10 now. One deleted their entire YouTube channel, and I'm starting to wonder what happened to them, and I'm hoping they're still okay. But again, people just take breaks sometimes, and I don't know. I hope they're okay. Anyway, bye, everybody.